hello everyone welcome back in today's video i will show you how to install and set up ULID for company ui i will show you all the steps including installing the requirements downloading the models and where to get the workflow i will also show you a basic workflow let's get started in case you are not aware ULID is an implementation which allows you to take a face and basically pose it into different outfits or into different settings. So as you can see here, we have one face into different settings. If you go down, you can see that it takes one particular face and uh, change it. In this particular case, it's cyberpunk. So we are placing that particular character in a cyberpunk or fantasy setting. Now, first to get started, you need to make sure that your comfy UI is up to date. Now, if you do not have Comfy UI installed and you do not have the Comfy UI manager installed, I do have a video, I will post it somewhere or in the description below. Make sure to watch that video first, install Comfy UI and the Comfy UI manager and then come back here. Now, if you have Comfy UI already set up, you need to make sure that you are up to date. So for that, simply navigate to your Comfy UI portable folder and then go into the update folder inside click on the update underscore comfy ui dot bat file this will pull the latest changes and update once you see this press any key to continue you know that comfy ui has pulled all the updates you still need to start comfy ui so the usual method, if you are double clicking on the run NVIDIA GPU.bat file, or if you have any other shortcut, just launch Comfy UI once. It will continue downloading some dependencies and update. Once you are in the web interface, you know that Comfy UI has been updated. Now, alternatively, if you have the Comfy UI manager already installed, you can click on manager here and then click on update comfy ui once it's done click on the restart button and again just wait for comfy ui to restart now once you have comfy ui up to date click on the manager this time go into custom node manager at the top here where it says search type in bullid it's b-u-l-i-d and then click on the install button for the id 99 it should be by the author cubic if you check your terminal, you will see something like this. Just wait for it to complete. Once it's completed, you will see a notification here telling you to restart Comfy UI. So you can close out the terminal and restart Comfy UI. Or if you're in the manager, you can click on the restart button. Now, if your Comfy UI is on Python 3.10, most likely it's not. But just in case, if you have like an older version, it will install and start Comfy UI directly. You will not have to do anything, but most of you will be on Python 3.11. And unfortunately, the face X lid and filter pi will not install correctly. So if you get any of these errors, continue forward. All right, so in your file browser, just navigate to where you have Comfy UI installed. It should be in the Comfy UI Windows Portable folder. Now go inside the Python embedded folder. And then at the top here in the address bar, type in CMD and press enter. This will open a terminal. In my case, it is CMD inside of Windows terminal but it may be CMD just as the window for you. Either way, the command that you will need to type in next will be the same. So type in python.exe-m pip install dash dash use dash pep 517 space and then face x lid. Press enter and you will see now this time it will install the face xlib so if you see any of these output it means that it's installing just give it some time it may take about a minute or two now once it's done you should see something that this successful um, install and then somewhere it will tell you that there is face xlib and then filter pi install next test your installation by again 
starting comfy UI. In my case, it is double clicking on the run NVIDIA GPU.bat file. And at this stage, if you have never installed Instant ID or IP adapter before, you may get this error saying module not found, new module name inside phase. I've done multiple videos on inside phase before, especially when it comes to installing IP adapter and Instant ID, but I will go through it once again. Now, if you already have inside phase and for you, the Comfy UI launched correctly, meaning that you did not get any import fail here for Pulip, then you can skip the inside phase part and go to the next section. As always, there will be timestamps in the description below. Now, for those of you who got that error, no module inside phase, then in the description below, in under the resources section, there will be a link that will take you to this GitHub repository. And in here, you'll need to find your Python version. Now, for most of you, you will need to download this CP311. Simply click on the file and somewhere here, there will be like a little download button or you can right click on it and select save as as well. Once you've downloaded it, move it to your Comfy UI portable folder. So in my case here, as you can see here, I've moved it inside the Python portable folder next to my run NVIDIA GPU.bat file. So if I open the file browser and increase the file size, it should be like this for you. Now at the top here, once again, in under the address bar, type in CMD, press enter. And now you'll need to type in this command here. So you start with Python underscore embedded and then a backslash, then python.exe dash m pip install and then the name of that file. Now, I know that the file name is quite long and it's difficult to type, but do not rename the file. If you rename it, this installation will not work. So make sure that you're using the default name. And to make things easier, when you are typing, you can type in INS and then press the tab key. It will auto complete on some terminal. Even CMD, the basic CMD should auto complete. All right, press enter and you will see the installation going. It should be something like this. Now, once it's done at the bottom, you should see successful and then it should tell you that we have inside phase install. All right, so now again, test your installation by running the run NVIDIA underscore GPU dot BAT file and make sure that under the custom nodes, there are no import fail this time. So in my case, we can see that Pulib Comfy UI was loaded successfully. All right, so at this point, we'll need to download some models. So go into your Comfy UI web interface, go inside the manager. Once again, click on custom nodes manager and then change the filter here to install and look for the Pulib installation. Click on the name Pulib underscore Comfy UI. This will open the GitHub repository. You scroll down until you see installation and then there will be a link for the main model. Click on this link. It should start downloading the model right away. This is a direct link. Now, as it's mentioned here, you will need to go into Comfy UI models, create a new folder and name it Pulid. So once again, in your file explorer, go inside Comfy UI, then go inside models. And then depending on your file browser, there are multiple ways of creating folder. In my case here, the default Windows 11 file explorer. I will click on the new button and then select folder there. Now make sure to rename that new folder as Pulid all lowercase. Now go inside that folder. And once your download has completed, you just need to move that file over to this directory. Okay, so make sure that you have this uh, IP dash adapter pulid dot uh, safe tensor file inside the pulid folder. And once again, do not rename the file. Now go back to the GitHub repository. There is a second download that you will need to do. And this one is for 
the antelope v2 so click on the link it will take you to hugging face and you need to download the zip file which is around 361 megabyte to download it click on this download icon here it will download a zip archive file now this one has a very specific folder path so i'm going to put the path somewhere maybe down in the video so that at all times you can see the full path so first you'll need to go inside of comfy ui then go into models now inside models you'll need to create a new folder so again go into new folder and rename this folder as inside face all lowercase go inside the inside face folder and create a new folder called models now go inside that now to make things easier for everyone here i've cut and paste the antelope v2.zip file inside this folder but for you it can be inside your downloads folder or anywhere to make things easier i recommend that you move it inside this models folder so once again we are inside comfy ui portable comfy ui models inside face models now in windows 11 you can click on the zip file and at the top it will tell you to extract all if you click on that button windows 11 will automatically detect the file path and you do not have to select anything there and that is why i recommended to move that zip file inside this inside face slash models folder now otherwise if your zip file was in the downloads folder just click on the browse button here and look for your comfy UI installation folder and browse to the correct folder now click on the extract button once the extraction has completed you should see an antelope v2 folder inside the models folder now the way windows 11 works is that it's going to create a duplicate folder inside that antelope v2 folder so you can see at the top here i am already inside the antelope v2 folder but inside it i have another folder which is a duplicate folder so if you have the same case select that folder and then cut it you can press that little scissors icon at the top or you can use the shortcut control x then go back once you can use the arrow keys at the top or you can simply click on models here once you're inside that models folder paste it again control v to paste or you can use the icon at the top what this will do is it's going to merge the two folders together this way you will not have two folders one original one duplicate now if you've done everything correctly if you go inside this antelope v2 folder you should now see the individual files and the file path should be as shown at the top here so make sure that all of these files are inside comfy ui models inside face models antelope v2 now if you have like a third party archive extractor for example 7zip or winraw then when you are extracting it you can select these individual files and extract it directly to antelope v2 you will not get that duplicate folder all right so now to test the installation i'm going to go into this pexels.com website and just look for a portrait for my testing i'm going to use this portrait here and that is because the face is forward facing and it's the main subject also the image quality is clear and it is sharp and this is something that you will need to keep in mind whenever you're working with Poolit, is that your input image should be sharp it should be a clean image to get the best results now i've taken it a step further i've cropped the image into a square making sure that the face is the main focus now back to the github repository for pull it so remember where we had that installation if you go all the way up there is a folder called examples 
and inside it you will see a couple of examples so for this particular case i'm going to test the bullet four step lightning just because it's fast but you can also look at the other example and by the way these are dot json files so they are just workflows you can click on it and then click on this download button to save the file inside of comfy ui click on the load button select the file and then click on load it will load the workflow similar to this all right get your input image in my case it's this portrait already cropped as a square image and then for the checkpoint i'm using the juggernaut for step lightning this is the lightning workflow the load pulled model should be already selected for you if you've used the default image otherwise click on the file name and select it the eva clip will automatically download the necessary model on your first run now as for the face analysis make sure that the provider is cpu sometimes there are errors when you select a different provider now i'm going to leave everything else as default from the workflow and if you want to copy it you can copy these prompts and the key sample of these are the settings all right so once you are at this point you can click on the q prompt button and if you look at your terminal you will notice that the comfy ui terminal will be stuck where it says shape of rope at that particular line if that does happen for you leave it actually comfy ui is downloading some additional files it's just that we do not have a progress bar for this particular step now once it finishes downloading for this step you will see it downloading some additional files and this time there will be a progress bar now again just leave it until everything is done and after some time you should have an output image so as you can see the face was transferred quite well and it, it's pretty much the same person in a different style different outfit including these wolf ears i've done a second test just to make sure that it's not just the seed so i can see this time it's a, a cat in the in the image but the face is still the same now in case you're wondering for me on a gtx 1650 it takes about a minute using the lightning workflow all right so that is it i hope you got everything installed and everything is working correctly let me know in the comments down below if there were any issues and i'll try to help you and by the way if you're using a different operating system the installation should be smooth in your case because only windows has the issue where it cannot compile filter pi face xlib as well as inside face okay so that is it for me take care have a nice day and i will see you in the next